this moment of the ceremony, I'd like to call Dr. Richard Geyer for the Chief Academic Officer Address. Good morning, honored guests, distinguished colleagues, graduates, honorees, family, and of course, friends. I'm glad to be here today. In fact, I'm glad to be anywhere today. As I was working on my one-hour speech, uh, they told me they'd buy me lunch, so I, I had to, <laughs> I never turned down a free lunch. Many of you know that I enjoy golf, and what I found is that golf and life are very much the same. Both contain life lessons, if you're willing to learn what they are. For non-golfers, this might seem a stretch. How could a game of controlling a little white ball impact someone's life? Well, first of all, where did the word golf come from? Some call it the other four-letter word. G-O-L-F was originally meant gentlemen only, leader, ladies forbidden. I don't think they'd get away with that today, do you think? So. Let's go back to how does golf imitate life? Golf, like life, is a very, very humbling experience. Just when you think you've mastered it, not so fast. Golf is complicated and messy, so is life. Where the difference between a great shot and out of bounds can just be a few feet. Golf is not a game of strength and speed, but one of strategy, preparation, and finesse, just like life. It's a game of inches, not angles, not brute force. I used to go to that golf course and wail at that ball as hard as I could, but what I found out was swinging so hard didn't result in what I wanted. So let's get back to what has golf taught me. Well, I found out when I slow down and make good concentrated contact, the results were often what I wanted. Rarely in golf or life is anything accomplished swinging as hard as you can. It's better to have fo vision, focus, and work on specific objectives and goals. It's knowing your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats. I've never really mastered the game. Even the best golfers in the world haven't mastered the game. It has even baffled and frustrated some of the best athletes in the world. Sounds like life, doesn't it? But I've learned to uh, actually master my emotions and create harmony and not let it get me down. Good golfers accept their situation, as we all should. Learning to control the jitters is also part of life and part of golf. Because golfers learn to embrace failure. You can look at failure and fear with anxiety or look at it as a valuable and learning experience. Don't dwell on past mistakes. Stay in the present and visualize success in the future. In golf, as life, you learn to fail, adjust, and then just try again. When you do that, you'll find your margin of error decreases. The cup looks bigger and your putts look straighter. In life, we seem to be on a roller coaster between control and chaos. Actually, it was meant to be that way. Golf, like life, it can be awfully frustrating, but it also can be very rewarding. So hang in there. Golf, like life, is not a sprint, but a marathon, giving us time to try something new. So I challenge all of you to go for it. So you're going to miss out on the other 50 minutes of my speech, but that's okay. So I'll leave you now wishing you success both in life and your golf game. Bon chance. Thank you. Go chase. Come on.